He wouldn't be around very long. I can tell you there wouldn't have been much damage. So I think gun-free zones are a catastrophe. They're a feeding frenzy for sick people. We, we called a few Trump resorts, a few Trump properties that, that do not allow guns with or without a permit. Would you change those policies? I would change them. Okay. Sure. So we'll have to it see. Would, what yeah, happens. yeah. So does he actually control all of the Trump yeah, that's properties? What, that's what's going to say. Well, I would do it, but mm-hmm. I I can't because I'm not in charge of that. I mean, do you think he was sincere? He no, answered. No. He answered very quickly, which I thought was good. Right? He yeah. didn't hesitate and say, "Well, I'd have to think about it," or which seems more Trump-like to me, where he yeah. would say, "Well, I would have to analyze it." He said, "Yeah, I would change them." So when I heard it initially, I thought, "Yeah, he means that." I don't but know. I wonder. I wonder if he really does, or if he knows. I don't control them anyway, you know. So if, if I can't if, change it, I, I guess what he should have said, maybe, yeah, on the ones as allowed by, by state, that's the other federal thing, law. Yeah. yeah. Although, Some well, could be casinos, and you can't. To, carry. to me, it's even more ridiculous to have a gun-free policy in a place where it's illegal to carry a gun anyway. Right. Well, they said a few. We don't know if all of them ban guns, right? Yeah. They, we, no, I and I, I honestly don't do know. I imagine like of Chicago, all. the one in Chicago, probably doesn't allow guns. Well, maybe not, but you can <clears throat> have guns in Chicago now. Sure. So we, the debate goes on, right? And so we have Cruz. And on and on and on. <laughs> it did, didn't it? Uh, and so I liked uh, what Cruz had to say um, on... Uh, what did he talk about? I'm, I'm getting because we got Rubio talking about the media. Oh, stupid questions and stuff. Yeah, get to the points and uh, have talk, ask intelligent questions. Yeah, so. yeah and he kind of opened the floodgates. Yeah, during the debate for and the everybody rest of the sort of slammed onto the yeah, moderators. They, they jumped on so. Opposition to it show that you're not the kind of problem solver American voters want. You know, let me say something at the outset. The questions that asked so far in this debate illustrate why the American people don't trust the media. This is not a cage match. And you look at the questions, Donald Trump, are you a comic book villain? Ben Carson, can you do math? John Kasich, will you insult two people over here? Marco Rubio, why don't you resign? Jeb Bush, why have your numbers fallen? How about talking about the substantive issues people care about? I'm not finished yet. The contrast with the Democratic debate, where every fawning question from the media was, which of you is more handsome and wise? Hillary, most handsome. Oh, so this is and let me make clear. the dead limit, which you, you have 30 seconds left to answer, should you choose to do so. <coughs> let me be clear. The men and women on this stage have more ideas, more experience, more common sense than every participant in the Democratic debate that debate reflected a debate between the Bolsheviks and the Mensheviks. Mensheviks. <laughs> and nobody watching at home believes that any of the moderators has any intention of voting in a Republican primary. The questions that are being asked shouldn't be trying to get people to tear into each other. It should be, what are your substantive okay, solutions okay. to people? Yeah, so in... So, and, yeah. and, it, it, not only that, but the moderators They're were trying to defend were trying, like, yeah. Does this one count? Do we get like really childish? Yeah. Throughout the whole debate, when somebody would say something, they would argue with them. Yeah. That's that's really not your job. That's not what I want you to do. I want you to ask a question about policy or about a topic that is relevant, right? And then let the candidates debate. Uh, Cruz was was spot on, and and like I said, he opened the floodgates because then after that, a lot of the other candidates started saying, well, come on, the, the, these questions are ridiculous, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, I think it was Rubio that said, because uh, they were talking about super PACs, and he said, you want to talk about super PACs? The Democrats have the largest the super PAC ever. The best it, ever. You guys, it's the media. Yeah. It's the mainstream media. It's the Democrats' super PAC. He's not wrong. He isn't. Well, it, Cruz wasn't wrong. The Democrat debate yeah. that we talked about last week or the week before Powder, was MSNBC was the same people. This one was on CNBC, but it was the same people. Uh, it was, yeah, abs- it, it was. Who's the most handsome type of garbage, yeah. right? It was, hey, here's and, a softball. Who say your, whatever you want. Who's your greatest enemy? Yeah, yeah it was. Really? Question. It, it was. You're right. The NRA came up twice. I think. Yeah, <laughs> they're my. I think enemy. just really? once, but yeah. If that's uh, your greatest mm. enemy, uh, horrible. You're an idiot. 
and some of the other questions, and, and this was, I think, uh, Chris Christie was absolutely right about this. Jeb Bush was asked the question, well, we've seen these uh, these day-long fantasy sports sites pop up where people can go on there, they can bet money, and they can pick a fantasy team, and they can win real money. Isn't that gambling? And shouldn't the federal government yeah. have something to say about that as gambling? And Jeb Bush pretty much said, well, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I think I think it should be more regulated. Absolutely. And what did Christie say? Chris Christie said, are you kidding me? This is an issue? Yeah, why are we talking about fantasy football? ISIS is coming Let, into the country. What? <laughs> if people want to play fantasy the, the, football, the Russians who are cares? actually killing ISIS people. We can't have that. And we're talking about fantasy. Let them have it. Yeah, you know if I mean. people want to bet on fantasy sports, okay. I don't know Big how they get deal. away with that, but, I, you know. Well, it's because it's not a game of chance. There's some skill involved in, like, anal- uh, analysis of data. Okay. And, and like rolling dice where it's complete, yeah. uh, you know, st- probability. It, isn't there some skill involved in betting on a, a real football team? Isn't that legal? <clears throat> Certain places, yeah. I don't know that it's legal <laughs> over the Internet. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Right. Yeah. And besides, uh, Florida has some of the you know, most gambling there is. There's horse training. Yeah. Or, mm-hmm. There's toad races. Mm-hmm. There's <laughs> toad grasshopper races. We there. have we have a frog race. Yeah. Crocodile and alligator we, races. We have a frog jump contest. I guess it's not a race, so never mind. It's I don't know what it is. They but do it's still it a competition. Here. Yeah, and those and little kids, I tell it. you, they're throwing their lunch money down. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, they're going to grow up to be Trumps. <laughs> Good. I think that's okay. Yeah. I'm all right with it. So let's hear what uh, Rubio has to say. We don't have what Rubio has to say. What do you mean you don't? I mean, I, we don't. We didn't We didn't prep that one. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Are you kidding me? No. You're saying we don't have it. I'm, I am. What did he say? Trump, it's, 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 he said this. Just a minute. Trump, this you have been, Let me follow up oh. on this for you just a been, moment. You had talked a little bit about uh, Marco Rubo, Rubio. I think you called Rubo. him Marco Rubo. Mark Zuckerberg's personal senator because he was in favor of the H-1B. I never visa. said that. This is not what Rubio so said. This was an erroneous article the whole way He's around. He's got another gentleman in Florida who happens to be a very nice guy, but not... My Uh-oh. apologies. Wrong one. I'm sorry. Really, I'm he's really doing some bad facts. Since I've been yeah. mentioned, can I respond? I read, yes, I yes, you may. You know, the Democrats have the ultimate super PAC. It's called the mainstream media. Who every single day... And I'll tell you why. Last week, Hillary Clinton went before a committee. She admitted she had sent emails to her family saying, hey, this attack in Benghazi was caused by al-Qaeda-like elements. She spent over a week telling the families of those victims and the American people that it was because of a video. And yet the mainstream media is going around saying it was the greatest week in Hillary Clinton's campaign. It was the week she got exposed as a liar. It was the week that she got exposed as a liar. But she has her super PAC helping her out, the American mainstream media. You guys. Senator Rubio, thank you very much. I'd like to introduce my colleague. So, you know, he's not wrong. But getting back to what Clinton and the Democrats wanted real quick, we're running out of time, but, um, you know, they're they're anti-gun. They want to get rid of all the yeah, guns. absolutely. But all of these uh, Muslim uh, immigrants are going into Europe, right? Yeah. And a lot of those countries, they don't have... Freedom, yeah, because they're guns. way ahead of us. The Austrians, you, you kind of can, and so they're arming themselves at record rates. Approximately seventy thousand more firearms have been sold in Austria so far this year, as compared to last year. The report says there's an estimated nine hundred thousand firearms in Austria, and they have eight point five million people. <clears throat> yeah, the thing is, they're going out there, and I'm hearing stories that the gun stores are, are, are selling out. Yeah, Germany, you got about give it your firstborn son to get a gun. A lot of people are. And <laughs> and all these European countries now are thinking, hmm, maybe, you know, citizens should have We're guns being invaded. We're being invaded by these people that cut off heads and stuff. And I saw some video really quick of, uh, in France, the guy had a permit to carry a concealed weapon, and he was being accosted by Muslims with baseball bats. And he picked up his shirt and put his hand on his gun, you know. Yeah. And they're like, well, oh, you know, they're backing off. He's walking away. They're still, they're throwing rocks at him. Yeah. They're swinging at him and stuff. <clears throat> um they didn't care they had a gun. They want to be a martyr. Yeah, right. But, right. Man. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, when it starts happening here, we're going to start shooting Muslims. I can see that. Well, they'll get a few that and they'll hit they'll hit states and cities that are anti-gun yeah. first. But yeah. we know what happened in Texas. 
Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. All right. We are out of time. All right. Happy Halloween. See you next week. <laughs> Bye-bye.